Well, from beacons to barges now, people from across Essex gathered on the beach at Jaywick for a very special picnic to honour Her Majesty. They celebrated the Jubilee by blending music, food and dancing from various cultures. It's really important, I think, that people can share their cultures and traditions and it all brings people together as well. So different communities coming together, celebrating. We've got the Chinese community here today. We've got the Bangladeshi Women's Association as well. And they're all intermixing together, sharing their cultures, their food, their traditions, their clothes and their dances. And uh, it's just a really nice way of celebrating the Jubilee and bringing everything together. Now, it was a celebration which brought the country together to say thank you to the Queen for 70 years of service. Yes, the Platinum Jubilee was four days of festivities and fun, and our reporter Ravina Gatora sampled just some of it. I'll ride home every day and I'll send all my loving to you. It was a weekend that hit all the right notes. I need you to make some noise with Nandy Bush on the drums. From rocking out to tucking in, the Platinum Jubilee party was full of flavour and fun. It was the Queen who got the ball rolling on Thursday night, standing alongside her pageant master Bruno Peake from Galston in Norfolk, who helped mastermind the lighting of more than 3,500 beacons across the UK and Commonwealth, a huge event that took two years to plan. I'm delighted with the way it's gone and again it's part of history and it was a, I, I was so honoured to be standing next to the Queen. Her um, closing line to me before she left was, it's been really nice to meet you again, which I thought was quite really quite nice. Beacons, bonfires and buildings lit up the skies across the east on Thursday night. Three, two, one including at Abbey Gardens in Bray St Edmunds and the family home at the Sandringham Estate, sparking the start of Jubilee celebrations. From beacons to bunting, streets up and down the region were lined with people, picnics and puddings. In Galdeston near Beckles, there was plenty to cheer about. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Castle Park in Colchester, there was a more formal affair. From a 42-gun salute to a 27-horse parade, Great Yarmouth paid this special tribute to the nation's most famous horse lover. But they weren't the only animals that marked this majestic milestone. In Dursingham, just down the road from the Queen's Sandringham estate, the pooches were just as patriotic as the people. <laughs> See, this Mind you, our four-legged friends were rather more successful than those on four wheels. Lucy Davenport from Kenton Hall in Suffolk making the best of a breakdown after her jag broke down on the mall. And of course, parties are nothing without a bit of music. In Norwich, the singing was just as spectacular as the dress. Soprano singer Emma Newell got the party in the park started. The event at Eaton Park was organised by the Norfolk Black History Community to honour the city's diverse community and it seemed everyone was in the mood for a jubilee jig. The atmosphere is fantastic, um, lots music. of friendly faces, the music's brilliant. It's nice to see the mayor up there and having a bit of a jig, you know. We're bringing all cultures together and we are celebrating in harmony as a rainbow nation. I love how it's going right now and happy jubilee. Across the region, everyone was just as keen as eight-year-old Lily May to celebrate the Queen and community. The tributes as diverse as the country Her Majesty represents. Meanwhile, a few famous faces also got in on the act. Well, almost. The Elton John tribute act in Newmarket got the crowd singing and dancing till the sun went down. The real one busy entertaining the crowds outside the nation's most famous address. At the party at the palace on Saturday night, rock stars and royalty paid tribute to the Queen. 
Carlos Rod Stewart was among the headliners as Morden Sam Ryder went from one global stage to another, performing his Eurovision hit song Spaceman with a special twist. There's nothing but space man. And I wanna go. And after four days of festivities, the Queen thanked the millions who marked her 70 years of service. But it was our very own Ed Sheeran from Suffolk who brought the royal rave to a close. I whispered underneath my breath, but you... The perfect ending to a moment in British history we will never see again. Ravina Gatora, ITV News.